if I told you that this was made on the edit page. No fusion, no keyframes, using one single text plus title, would you believe me? You'd be surprised. So first thing that we need is some fitting music. And I personally use Artlist for that. Where you get your music from is obviously up to you. However, if you want to check out Artlist, there's a link in the description down below. So then I got my music on my timeline already. It's roughly around 10 seconds, a little longer. And then what we're going to do is go to our effects library in the top left corner. I then go to titles and then grab this text plus and drag it over to your timeline just like so. And once we've done that, we can extend it to the full length of our music track just like so. So and from there we want to make a text preset because I'm going to use only one font family and that is Unisons. Um, however, you might not have Unisons, but it's a free download and I leave the link to that in the description down below. So then click on the text, go to the inspector in the top right corner of your screen, and then go to font and type in unisons or whatever font that you like, and then change the title to whatever. All right, so first thing is done. Then we can increase the size, obviously make it bigger. Then we need three tabs. We need this text tab, we need the layout tab, and we need the shading tab, but for now, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to use my arrow keys to navigate on the timeline left and right frame by frame. And then what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go to my audio track, audio track number one, and hit this button right here, which is the auto track selector. Because what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to make a cut on this text node whenever there's a beat, but I don't want to cut up my music as well. So hit this auto track selector until it's deselected, then move forward in the timeline just like so and then make just a cut. I use the W key for my cuts, but if you don't have this assigned to any key, you can just use the play tool and then cut wherever there's a beat. Then move forward, make another cut and forward. All right, so once you've done that, your timeline should look something similar to this, obviously not quite the same because chances are you're not using the same track. So then what I'm going to be doing is I have my first word in there. Once I play that, nothing's happening because we haven't changed the text inside of every of those little text boxes. So first of all, we have to go to our first text because we only have the word hello. And because there is no background, the background is black, but we don't want that because DaVinci Resolve just automatically fills in a black background, but it's actually transparent. So if we put a video clip below that, we would see the video clip. If that's what you're going for, do that. That's totally fine. But for the others, just use the layout tab, scroll down until you see background, drag the alpha channel up. And right now we have a black background. Nothing has changed um, except the background is not transparent anymore. Then we move over to the next text box and then just change our text in there. Let's call this DaVinci, make the size a little bit smaller, change the color to black, and then move over to layout, and then drag the alpha channel up and change the color to white. And right now we see DaVinci with a, in black with a white background. Then what you could do is move over to the next one where it says hello again, and let's type in resolve, then go to layout, we can leave that white, uh, go to layout, just drag up the alpha channel. So we make a background. And then let's go over to the shading tab to add some more elements to it. And we can change the appearance to this right here, which just gives us an outline, then we can increase the thickness just a little bit, something like that. And then we change the next one to 18 make this like really big. So right in our face, let's make this 0.7. And then we change this to black, and then go to layout, and then change the background color to white. So from there, it is pretty simple. All you got to do is change the text, maybe change the color, change the size, go to layout, give that a background. However, if you want to use colors for that, that's totally fine. Um, and then you can play around with some different shading elements. Um, change the appearance like to a text outline or whatever, give that text a text box. If you want to do so, that's totally up to you. But as you can see right now, the process is just always the same. It's that simple. I know you can get a lot more advanced in Fusion doing maybe letter animations or just 
using some default transitions in between each of those titles to spice up your videos. But that's it in general. I know you got the basic idea and from there on you can play around with it. Hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If so, please consider leaving a like and a comment. That will mean a ton to me. But anyways, hope you're having a great day. See you next time. Bye.